Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel, This Teaching Mama. This video is all about the different hands-on preschool activities we did for letter Z. The activities we all did here are DIY'd and I'm sure you can recreate this too with your own kids at home. And as usual, the free printables we use here are all linked down below on the description box so you can also download it for free. As you can see here, the first activity that we are sharing to you is the Zoo Animals Play-Doh activity that would develop a lot of skills to your child such as fine motor skills, language skills, creativity, and imagination. What are you doing now? Cage, Mommy. What's so hard to do a cage, Mommy? Look at man cage. Mommy, Mommy. I don't know, Mommy. Mag hard work, man. We need to do hard work. When the animals are still delivered, when the animals are delivered, the animals safe, but inside the cages and the visitors too, while they are looking at the zoo animals. And also, 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 how uh, about the seven animals? Mm -hmm. Yeah, long enough. I think it's long enough. Okay. Go put on the drop-in food that the animals were eating. How can you? Continue? Are you done with your cage? Yeah. Next. Let me see though. Okay. Next up is the Z for zebra craft. This kind of activity is very important to preschoolers because arts and craft activities help instill a sense of achievement and pride in children, boosting their self-confidence. This Zoo Animals Emotions Clip Cards is very helpful in teaching a child in recognizing one's feelings or emotions. I think it's the giraffe. I want it to be a little lower. Next will be a little lower. Flag, 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 flag. What is next? Angry. Angry. Yeah. Each one has an angry face too. What animal is that? While doing this hands-on activity, you can discuss with your child the different emotions and expressions the zoo animals are showing, thus developing your child's language skills. Can you show me your answer? Yeah. Yes, finger puppets. We are finger puppets. We are finger puppets. Oh, what's next? Okay, I think I'm a giraffe. That's an how is feeling. The, how is the giraffe feeling? I'm like sad. Yes, you are right. Now, okay. which animals are also sad? Which animal is also sad? It looks like the panda. Take it down. Show mama your answer. I'll use the pink. I like pink. Is it the panda? You know, you show me your answer. And I will flag, you. flag, 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 flag. So we will know if you are right. Okay, you got flag, it right. Flag, flag, flag. And now I'll just put it over here. It's a panda again. That's my panda. How is the panda feeling? Can you show it to Mama? Okay. He is worried. Worried? Okay. Don't mm. worry with me. Nung nabalaka siya, it's quite nervous. I'm sure, Anna. Okay, go ahead. That's your name. your grade ship. Like your, like in your story. Yeah, the ship, the ship, the ship, like the sleep. <laughs> Here you can see Kyla is cutting the pictures, and later on she will sort the pictures, whether it's a farm or a zoo animal. Come on, pigs, go. 
Mama, but I want the sheep and I didn't, didn't have other plans. Sina, asa mo na ibutang ang pig? Ay, sige, ikat sa tanan. Para later, you can... Now it's time to... Next, next is... As you can observe, Kyla likes to talk a lot while doing the activities. She is very inquisitive and curious about the activities we do. Yeah, they're both wild, so they can also be together. Mature the cow, and I am also a baby cow, me. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Cow. 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 It is best to talk with your child while doing an activity to help them express their ideas and teach them conversational skills. Any cutting and pasting activity is a way to develop a child's fine motor skills. This kind of activity teaches a child how to be patient and determined in finishing their work. How about tiger? Um, it's little tiger. Teeth. Mm, look for I the letter T. I got the eye of the tiger, the fire. How will the you tiger, know where is letter T, Dira? Ang sa takong tudlo. Okay. It's like, it has, um, it's so weird. Ang sa man, ang sa man, A, B, C. Ang sa kida. A, B, C. J. 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 <laughs> Funny, Ate Kaila. Oh, how about next? Lion. 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 Down there, if Angel will get it. Hmm, balik tadi mo siya. Okay. You big red cut. Hmm, so not. Will the beast? Will the beast? Let's listen to Kyla as she shares her answer in this beginning sound activity. Um, the word is for will the beast. Hmm, next. Um, it's not. Um, H. H is for hippopotamus or hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. <laughs> hippopotamus. But the hint is hippopotamus. E is for elephant. Mm. B. Wow. Balik B. <laughs> B here is for bear. Mm. D is for it's for the zebra. It's a nod. R is for rhino. G is for gorilla. I don't want to say that. It's a nod. You're almost done. What's your name? T is for... I got the eye of the tiger. And the last one. The last animal. 
polar bear. What's my name? Polar bear. What's my name? Letter. What letter is this? It's P. Mm, P is for. You say it P. Because Kyla will be five years old on December, we are now practicing how to write letters and numbers. Yeah, work. However, she's not quite interested with writing activities now. Fast. Try to remember uh, how to write it so that next time you won't trace it. You just have to write it by yourself. And then dot dot. Dot? Join me. It's okay. Art and craft require children to use their hands in certain ways. When kids use their hands to do art, they improve their fine motor skills. They also improve their coordination and they are easily able to use both hands at the same time. When you are doing arts and crafts, you can engage the child with small talks about the craft, thus improving their communication skills even in other areas. During the talk, they can also pick up vocabulary from the conversation. Bow. Let's mix it up. It's still pink. Mm -hmm. Go. You read the sentence. One. Sentence. Two. Mm -hmm. Plus four. Okay, now what to do? What is your answer? What's the sum? Six. Is this six? Mm -hmm. Come on. You got me more. Mm -hmm. Great. You counted carefully. Tama imong gihimo. Uh, the last number sentence. What do you have there? That's an easy one. Kaila. Okay, do you count the four? Are you read the number sentence? Mm -hmm. That's it everyone. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned something new from our preschool activities that we have shared to you this time. And please consider to subscribe and ring that bell so that you'll be updated when we upload a new video. See you next time. Daghang salamat kaayo. Bye-bye.